Hey, good morning, guys. This is Stephen Howard, my dog Yucca and Rio. And we're just out here at Red Springs. I'm trying to do a hike just before uh, work today. I'm going to be digging about 10 holes for landscaping. And uh, it's hard work, but I, I appreciate hard work. And uh, it's zenful work, you know, digging in the dirt. I'll be grounded the whole time. So um, I love healing places. So I look forward to being there and healing the place as much as I can while I'm there. And then we'll see about the people. Uh, today is Inauguration Day. So President Joe Biden is going to be ushered into office as the 40-something president, I think. I don't know how many presidents there's been, but I'll have to Google that, right? Anyway, I'm out here. Beautiful Red Rock. It's uh, snow-capped mountains. It snowed last night up in uh, Spring Mountain. And it's all layers. If you look, you got the Sheep's Pass. And you got the uh, Mount Wilson there. The giant yucca tree here. And uh, just a beautiful area. Turtle Peak up there in the mist. You see that, that A-frame peak? That's Turtle Peak. And I'm way above Las Vegas. Elevation-wise, I'm probably 2,000 feet higher than the Las Vegas Valley. A lot of people don't know this, but Las Vegas uh, Strip, down by the Strip, is below sea level. So if there ever was a major catastrophe, earthquake, stuff like that, this was the bottom of the ocean at one point. So you'd have to, of course, uh, reverse the whole flux of the Grand Canyon to make anything happen like that. But the earth is very powerful. Uh, I think my point today is the contrast between uh, urban society and the wild. Um, you know, you got houses out here. A lot of these are million dollar houses because the location um, you got people that come out here for all kinds of reasons. And then, uh, our wild places are being, uh, trashed, you know? Um, I reported some trash up in Level Canyon and it has since been picked up. So I'm going to work with the BLM and the Forest Service as much as I can around here to try and locate and pick up any trash sites and then if there's anything burnable uh, you could do burn piles if it's the right time of year a lot of coyote poop out here there was a wild coyote this morning a dog was let out of the car and I uh, I was basically uh, getting up and getting ready and I heard some crazy stuff outside and I went outside and a uh, coyote across the road was yelling like as loud as it could. And then my dog was barking. And then the coyote would yell as loud as it could. So, gotta watch out for yucca for sure out here. Anyway, I, uh, I think everybody, the download that I was having last night is that everybody should just avoid society for a day or two you know it's inauguration day so what you know we're all in covid lockdown 400,000 americans have died you know this is uh i was looking it up one so one in every 800 people have died in america and uh i hope those numbers go down not up and I hope people will get outside and enjoy themselves and enjoy the rest of their life that they have. Um, now we can see Las Vegas down there. That's a Red Rock Casino. And then beyond there is the Vegas Valley. And that's a Sunrise Mountain on the other side over there. 
I'm getting a little sun coming through. It was raining and snowing last night, so. But uh, this area is amazing. Uh, World-class rock climbing. Um, a new Las Vegas local is uh, Alec uh, Honnold, uh, the guy who climbed El Capitan without a rope. And he's a really humble guy. I met him on the trail over at uh, Pine Creek. He was running out to do a free solo and then climb back down. And by the time I finished my hike, he was already done. So that's an amazing athlete right there. Am amazing uh, spirit, amazing heart. So I'm, I'm really happy to be here. I've been getting a lot of offers to go different places, uh, Florida, Ohio, uh, back to Montana, and I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of letting the universe decide or, you know, I, I make forward movement on things, but, you know, I really let the universe kind of decide for me what is best for me and what would be the best outcome. So, um... That goes uh, for one of the things I've been talking about. Sorry, a little scattered today, but um, putting anticipation or putting um, expectation on a result will not get you what you want. It'll actually do the reverse. It'll repel it. So if you're constantly focused, oh, I got to get this, I got to get this, I got to get this, then it's, it probably won't come. And I had to wait until I'm 